Welcome everyone to another episode of the Luton Town of FIFA 15 Road to Glory. Last episode, we somehow survived not getting relegated back down to League 2. Chilling in League 1 right now, and we have a pretty young, young and slowly improving core of players that plan to improve on in today's episode. As you can see, we normally have a good center mid instead of Doyle, but he is currently injured. And pretty much everyone else is below the age of 22. They're all kind of slowly improving. And that's kind of what I like to have in these Road to Glory teams. We're going to be looking for some playmakers from Denmark. We're going to be looking for, for some attackers from Sweden. And then some strong Russians. Jordan Kalik, starting center back. Towards MCL to start the season. He is out for two months. Not a good start in that point. And I didn't do anything in the transfer window because I don't. there's not any players that I want to get that I can't afford. Obviously, there's a whole lot of players that I do want to buy, but we have a pretty limited transfer budget, so I'm not able to get many of those players. Ryan Hall broke his ankle. He's out for seven weeks, a big blow to the midfield. And Mahed Algamdi, our center mid who started the season hurt, is now healthy, is back on the injury list with a pulled groin. Now it's time to travel to Crew Alexandra. It's home stadium for an FA Cup tie. Going to be playing our 4-4-2. Kalik has returned from injury, thankfully. Same goes for Algamdi. And we have a pretty much full-strength team, so I expect some good results out of this group. Here are the highlights. So we went on to win the game 2-0, or not 2-0, 2-1, thanks to a beautiful late surging effort from Bishop. Finally got some chances to connect that weren't previously in the game, and he really saved our butts right there. Now it's time for another game. This time we are hosting Oxford United in the FA Cup at Kenilworth Road. We're going for the same lineup. Got us results last time. Hopefully we can win it without it being as dramatic as it was last time. Here are the highlights. So we won this one 1-0 one thanks to that goal from Al Gamdi. I mean, we dominated them. They couldn't do anything. We were able to get a lot of chances. Not a lot of goals, which is a little bit concerning, but obviously with this low overall players, they're bound to miss a couple of shots. Danny Fitzsimmons, backup left back, has been sold to Carlisle United for 160k. And Al Gamdi is yet hurt, hurt yet again, which is so annoying because he's so good, but he's constantly hurt. He's out for four months. FA Cup next round. We had Everton, I simmed it because no way we should win this game, and we didn't. So yeah, no big transfer activity yet again. Scott Griffiths, a our current backup left back, broke his tibia. He is out for the rest of the season, essentially. Same goes for Al Dossery. However, it's only two weeks for him, thankfully. Jordan Kalix suffered a MCL tear. He will be out until the last couple games of the season. Nikolai Festerson is joining the team from the Youth Academy. 49-57 to overall, 75-89 to potential. 
definitely a work in progress player. And here we are with the season over. We got a playoff promotion spot. I mean, literally we had this locked in for the last four games. It was pretty pointless to play since we do have the playoffs coming up against Doncaster Rovers. First leg, lost 2-1. to one. They also got two away goals. So we got we to gotta clutch up here in this game. And I'm trying out a little bit of a different lineup. I used to always use this 3-5-2 formation on FIFA 14 on the 3DS. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of the 3-5-2, so I figured why not try it here. So we'll have Forrester, Kate, Kasky, and Goal, obviously. Aldossary, Wilkinson, and Awaji as the center backs. Algamdi and Kalik as our defensive midfielders. Obviously going to try to get Algamdi in a deeper position to just kind of open up his playmaking ability a little bit. Hall and Rooney on the wings. O'Neal attacking mid. Alhamzi and Clow up top. Just going to try out something else. See if we can get some better results. And here are the highlights. So we did win this game 2-1 to one, thanks to an aggregate. We were able to then take it into penalties, which we won 5-4. to four. And now it's time for the big game against Barnsley. We're heading to Wembley, our home away from home, as Sir Barf, as Barfy Boy likes to say. And I'm sticking with this lineup. We, I mean, as, although we only did win 2-1, to one, now that I understand it a little bit more, we're going to take out Al Hamzi at that striker position, put in Bishop, a little bit more pace up top. Hopefully we can get a little bit better chances now. And here's the highlights to potentially the promotion clinching game. So we did win the game 2-1 to one, thanks to a goal from Clooney, or not Clooney, Rooney and Clow. And there we are, League One playoff champions. Next season, we are going to be up in the championship. Pretty much on the same trajectory that Luton Town were in in real life, which evidently was the goal the entire time. Anton Karlgren's joining the team, not much hope for him there. Same goes for David Bangard Jensen. Henrik 
Ingvarsten has a little bit of hope, but, you know, who knows what's going to happen with this team. Jasper Jensen, pretty solid backup center mid. Mikkel Peterson's going to make me have a very tough decision to make shortly. Because he's pretty much a final player goalkeeper. Like, he's going to probably be with us the rest of the series. So then what am I going to do with Forster Kaski? It's a whole lot of decisions to make that I'm glad those are the tough decisions I'm going to be have to making. Yusuf Markson, not that great. Same goes for Zlatan Gashi. We did get the Manager of the Month award for the month of May. And like I said, finished in a good playoff spot. Won it all 2-1. to one. Forster, Kaski appeared in every single game for us this year. Clow, 19 goals. Clearly the better of the two strikers right now. Also got six assists. He's performing very well. And of course, he gets player of the season. We've now played 107 games. 41 wins, 27 draws, 39 losses. Scored more goals than we've allowed. It's a slight, slight improvement. And I'm going to be sticking with a 3-5-2 heading into next season. I think we maybe need new center backs. But I think I want to keep everything else the same. Maybe a new attacking midfielder instead of O'Neal, or remove Al Gamdi to attacking mid to get a new defensive mid. But other than that, kind of like where everything is at right now. And I just cannot wait to see what the next iteration of this team is. You know, we were forever a 4-4-2 team. We're now a 3-5-2 team. Are we gonna? When am I ever gonna take away the two striker formation? If I ever do. And that's the glory of the championship. Because anything can happen. We could get promoted next season somehow, some way. Do I think we will? No. Do I want to? No. Because, I mean, we would maybe score two total goals in the Premier League with this team. But thankfully, in the championship, hopefully get a little bit of a transfer budget bump so I can actually buy some more players like I could not really this episode. But hopefully you guys did enjoy, and hopefully I'll see you for the next episode.